and every single man watching this video You're talking to me holds within their consciousness and subconsciousness those archetypes. Women typically are going to want a man to have both. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to be a man that is attractive to spiritually awakened women. Hey, how you doing? How you can be the best man possible in this new day and age, in this spiritual awakening, in this elevation of consciousness and ascension that is happening right now on this planet. So in order to understand how to be a man that will attract a spiritually awakened women, we must first First, understand where we are currently now we are shifting out of toxic masculinity and patriarchy this consciousness of patriarchy is systemic and it's how the world is ran and operated in the book king warrior magician lover by robert and gillette moore they discuss the archetypes of masculinity there are four archetypes the king the warrior the magician and the lover and every single man watching this video holds within their consciousness and subconsciousness those archetypes. Now, each of these archetypes have a shadow pole that is either a positive pole or a negative pole. Each one of these archetypes have these distortions that basically manifest when that pole is not standing up straight, when that man is not standing up straight, therefore falling into distortion. When a man falls into distortion, a man becomes very toxic. We're moving out of toxic masculinity and patriarchy and to now having men that have shifted more into the feminine polarity of existing. And that's me. A lot of these soft men in their feminine, they get too lost in the feminine and they're not able to reintegrate their masculine because that is a man that can't stand up straight. He has no backbone, he has no clarity, and he has nothing for a woman to push up against. A man that's in his feminine, if you think of dance, dance is a microcosm of life because everything operates from masculine and feminine polarity. So typically in structured dancing, there is a masculine, typically a man that is leading the dance. If a man is not able to be in his masculine, if he's not able to lead a feminine, if he's not able to have any direction of where he's going, of why he's doing the things that he does, of what his principles are for life, then there is nothing there for a woman to lean up against. There's no, nothing standing up there. It's just a soft, limp. So the true awakened conscious man is tapped into both his masculine and his feminine energy and has the ability to shift through both polarities at will depending on what is most called forth in the highest alignment of the highest potential timeline on what's going to manifest for not only the man's life, but for the life of his woman, his partner, and the life of his children, and the life of all beings in the community and in the collective at large. So a woman is not going to want a man who only knows how to be in his masculine because that man is frankly just too dense. Mark! Get him ears on his feet, get to the chopper. Right. He's too dense, he has no emotional availability and no emotional capacity. And so the woman is not going to be able to relate to him at all because he has no idea how to relate to anybody or anything because he's kind of a dud that has no feelings or emotions. And it's not his fault, you know, he probably had a toxic father and has repressed his emotions and feelings side of himself and was told to do that from a very young age. So that man has to go through a deep process of healing, awakening and transformation, probably needs a bunch of ayahuasca and needs to feel all the unfelt emotions, which is a very deep process that if a woman is smart and conscious, probably and already and not in a relationship with this guy 
probably doesn't want to handle all that baggage. So that person's probably not an option for a spiritually awakened woman, point blank period. Now on the opposite side of the pole, you have really soft men that don't know how to be in their masculine. And these men are typically raised more by their mothers. So they've been nurtured more in their lives and they're just more adept in their feminine energy. Now, this type of man will be able to relate to a woman on a friendship level because that that man is operating out of his feminine so basically he's kind of pretending to be a woman he's going to be a very nice guy he's going to be a great friend he might even be like a gay best friend but he's not a gay best friend because he's kind of attracted to you and he's using all these manipulation techniques to try to be your friend when really underneath all of that he's just what a spiritually awakened woman wants is what we all truly want at the end of the day, which is what I've learned from my spiritual teachers, Justin Patrick Pierce and London Winters. They talk about the yoga of intimacy, which is the yoga of how you relate with your partner in divine union, which means that the practice of being in partnership with a spiritually awakened woman is yoga. It is yoga. It is devotion. And so the goal of that union is to lift each other up from being one two to being three and so you're coming from wholeness they're coming from wholeness but together you are able to achieve higher levels of consciousness higher levels of awakening the depth of love and reach aspects of your heart that you could not reach by yourself so the true essence of divine union and relationship is about devotion it's about devotion to the other as yourself looking in the mirror reflection of yourself in your union and partnership, knowing that you are just dancing and playing this game through life, that you both want the same things and that you can simply work together, dance together and embody the energetic polarity, whether that's being in your masculine or being in your feminine when it is most appropriate for your partner's highest good and your partner's highest spiritual development as a soul incarnate in a feminine body temple in this lifetime on this planet. Yo, I'm dropping down some higher consciousness wisdom in this moment. So smash the like button, please. Hey guys, look, at the end of the day, we're all going through this spiritual awakening and we all need to support each other. Community, come in unity is the theme of the 22nd century. Are we in that place yet? I don't know, but the world be crazy as shit right now. And all I'm saying is that we can't do this thing by ourselves. We need one another and we need each other so click the links in the description down below my purpose is to help you facilitate you through your awakening and transformational process i want to help you in any way that i can and if you click the links in the description down below then we can work together in aligning and creating this new earth together so that we can grow food and our kids can live together in harmony and sacred reciprocity with all that is good in this world thank you so much for being here it is so good to be with you my name is thor this is Thorganic. Blessings on your day. Blessings on your life. May you be loving. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be whole. And may you be free. Aloha. Namaste.